Okay, what I have here is a brand new style of spy watch. I was immediately impressed by this model from the first time I tried it out, and after putting it through its paces, I can say it is certainly one of my top favorites in the spy watch category. It features full 1080p video resolution and captures still shots at 4032 by 3024 JPEG. It also has an audio only feature if you just want to record conversations. It has 8 gigabytes of internal memory, and it also has four infrared LEDs in the clock face, which you can turn on to record video in the dark. Additionally, you can use this watch as a web camera by simply installing the included software on the CD. Right now, you are seeing some video I recently shot with this spy watch. The camera has a nice wide field of view, which is essential for being able to point the watch in the general direction of whatever you are trying to capture and have it be in frame. Now every bit of video footage you see here was taken in a completely covert manner. To anyone watching me, I simply look like some guy examining a shopping list. However, what I'm actually doing is turning my body and aiming the watch to keep it centered on my subjects. Nobody suspected I was shooting video. There are no indicator LEDs lit up on the watch at all while recording, so it is extremely unlikely that anyone could have even had the slightest suspicion that their every move was being recorded. The watch comes packaged in this retail box and includes an AC to USB charger, a USB cord which can be plugged into the charger or your computer, an extra waterproof cap, a driver CD, and a really crappy and inaccurate user manual from the manufacturer. Now, the translated instruction manual can be very confusing, so if you order from me, I will also include this set of exclusive, easy to read, true English instructions developed by me personally. I developed these to help you get up and running in no time. If you hate trying to decipher Chinglish instruction manuals as much as me, you will definitely be thankful to receive this quick start guide. As I was saying, this spy watch features night vision. It has four infrared LEDs which you can turn on by holding down this button. This activates the LEDs and the infrared sensitive camera lens can now see in the dark. One important thing to note here, you cannot actually see this light with your human eyes. The only reason you can actually see the glow from the LEDs in this video is because my Sony Handycam is able to see infrared light. As I am filming this right now, I cannot see the LEDs at all. To my unassisted eye, the LEDs are are not glowing whatsoever. They appear completely shut off. Now the range of the night vision is a bit limited as expected and the maximum range as you can see in complete blackness is about five feet or so. On a full charge, the watch will continuously record multiple 20 minute video files in sequence until the battery runs out. During my tests, the watch recorded three 20 minute video files in succession, then it recorded a fourth video file about 10 minutes long, and then a fifth video about five minutes long before saving and shutting down for a total of about an hour and 15 minutes recording time. The total size of each 20 minute file was about 1.9 gigabytes. The total size on disk for all files was about 7.26 gigabytes. So as it turns out, the eight gigabyte memory size seems to be just perfect for this watch because by the time the battery runs out, you will have to plug it in to charge it anyway and and you may as well take the opportunity to move the video files from the watch to your computer's hard drive at that point. The band is made of stainless steel and features a double locking clasp to keep it secured to your wrist. Now a quick word about these screw on caps. The watch comes with a total of three of them. Two are solid and have rubber grommets inside and are designed to be waterproof. The other cap has a tiny hole in it. All three caps are designed to screw on and cover both the charge jack and the audio mic. If you plan on being in a location where the watch might get wet, be absolutely sure you have covered both the microphone and the charging jack tightly with the two solid waterproof caps. For recording in dry conditions, you can cover the microphone with the cap that has the hole in it for better sound reception or just leave the cap off completely. The audio quality is par for the course as far as spy watches go. Picking up clear audio with a microphone that is only a few millimeters across is an almost impossible task. But this spy watch performs just as well as any other watch I have tested, if not better. Is this all you guys have as far as like bulk foods or do you have bulk foods at all? We have bulk foods, yeah. Where's that? Where, where's that? Is that just back in the back somewhere? Um, are you talking like our, you can scoop out of the yeah. you want? Yeah, it's between produce and the deli. Okay. Cool, thank you. The camera is intentionally positioned upside down in the clock face. This is so that when you are wearing the watch, it will take video right side up when your arm is in a normal position. That way you can wear it like a regular watch and take video without anyone suspecting it. You can cross your arms, hold a beer, or play with your cell phone. Nobody will have a clue you are secretly recording video. Okay, so in summary, this is a top-notch spy watch that I am very impressed with. It's high-definition 1080p video combined with the wide angle of view, certainly earns it a top position in my favorites list. I am certain you will be just as impressed once you try this one out. 
Be careful of imitations. Other spy watches might look similar to this one, but if you order from me, you can be certain of exactly what you are getting. Hello. Hi, how are you? Good, how are you doing? Doing alright. Enjoying the awesome weather. Uh, no. No, I am. No, no. no while it holds. No. <laughs> <laughs> well, you'll probably be off work soon. You'll be all right. <laughs> you think so? Well, <laughs> you gotta hope, you know. I just wait for the man. Yeah, that's what you gotta do, though. If you want to have fun, you gotta you gotta slave sometimes. How about you? What do you do? Uh, I'm self-employed. <laughs> you know what? I sell things online. So, so yeah, you you slave for the man. Well, I do. You, I, you have to use computers. Yeah. You have to be on the internet. I'm, and I've got to... That's right. And you know what else? i got to answer to my customers all the time, too. I know. Isn't they a pain in the butt sometimes? You want to get those emails and say, Hey, I need to know how to work this. How do I turn it on or off? Those well, you are the sell hard. anything? I sell electronics. I sell, like, little gadgets, like, uh, little spy gadgets and whatnot. I sell, like... Spy gadgets? Yeah, well, that's like, that's surveillance. That's, that's not good. That's well, not well good. surveillance type gadgets. Like no, it's like security type stuff. Well, yeah, it protects people. <laughs> hey, you have a great day. You too.